Today we're in my studio and um, we're just looking at the original helmet where four designs that are current are um, from. So we start with the running hair and then go to the phoenix in tree and now there's a squirrel which I'm proposing for um, the EGA hopefully and then a stag that I've already used for a workshop before and I want to show you the running hair cushion that we've been working on. I think we call it a pillow in America. And uh, just come back along. And you can see all the fabulous colours that were available to the arts and crafts. This is from the late 19th century, turn of the, into the 20th century. Um, and I always think the arts and crafts of this style, they were trying to look like the past, but even in the colour choices, they actually used colours that were faded version of the Jacobean colours that we'll show you in another video. So the running hair here is the first one we looked at and it is exactly the same stitches and exactly the same colours and I'll just show you some of the magic colours in this piece. I absolutely love these yellowy greens and you see this colour right from the late 17th century right into the arts and crafts and if you're ever stuck for a colour pop a little bit of that in. You may not like it but actually when you put it into a design it looks wonderful and the same little pop from the reds and you can see some of these are madder in imitation matter dyes really because these were synthetic colours by the time these um, designs were made so although they look very natural they're based on natural colours but they are synthetic dyes. If we just move across to the phoenix and tree which is on the right here you can see that I put a little pop of that colour in because I thought these petals were looking rather dull so it's edged here with a little bit of this magic colour and actually on the original that's not the same but I just sort of gave a little bit of sunshine and joy. So we've been working on the same piece and um, we need to get back to another stitch.